All right, welcome to what I call step one of porting. Okay, from now here on out in the video, we're going to focus on areas that you need to work on to achieve the best uh, CFM out of your intake. So the way I'm working this video is that uh, as I go through the steps of this, I start from what gives you the greatest uh, increase in CFM to areas that will give the smallest increase. So I would definitely focus on these uh, in the first beginning steps are the areas that you definitely want to if you're just looking to do the basic supporting. Uh, certainly the step one and step two are probably the most important to gaining the, the maximum CFM and also it, it will take the least amount of time by doing, doing these two steps instead of what maybe you would think that other, like if you didn't have a flow bench you may think going into other areas that would actually give you a better benefit which is not actually true. Alright, <clears throat> so the first area you want to go to and actually is what we call is port matching. Uh, in the port itself right here, it's a bit of a, if you're familiar with, you've done uh, cylinder heads, it's a bit of reverse logic. Uh, everybody takes a, typically a cylinder head, and, I, I, and I, I'll include myself in that because uh, as when I first started, I had that tendency, you think that you go into your cylinder head, oh, you want to open up that port entry right there to help get more air in there. What, what's actually not true? On a, when you get in the cylinder head, as you get closer to the valve guide into the pocket, those are the areas and down by the valve, those are the areas that you need to focus on because though that is the pinch point where the biggest restriction is on theirs. All right, it, going back to your intake though, it's a bit reversed. Actually, where the exit of the port is and then coming down into here, that's actually your pinch point. So, working this area is your number one area that you're going to see the biggest uh, gains in CFM on an intake. Now, this guy out of the box is, uh, is about a 180cc uh, port and uh, it matches up to like a 1204 Felpro. I, uh, a little bit tight. Uh, I'm guessing they, they leave a lot of the cool things about this intake is they leave a lot of meat on here. So I'm suspecting that if you if you you're purchasing this uh, this thing from them, that you're going to do a porting work and port match it to whatever your cylinder head is. So my, my idea with this one is I matched it up to a 1206 because I figured if I was going to run this on it on a, a motor, it's going to be higher RPM like they advertise this 3,000 to 8,000 RPM somewhere in there or anything that's equivalent to this. So I match it to the 1206 which is the 215, 230 uh, cc port. Um, just by doing that, opening this guy up from the 180 to uh, whatever the 215 is, it actually had a, showed a gain of 35 to 42 CFM on several different tests. So certainly uh, worthwhile. That's some. That's where some of your biggest gain is that uh, you come up with your numbers. So definitely, it's an area to cover. Now I'll, I'll say this though. <clears throat> If you made it just going up one port size, all right, I, I jumped a couple different sizes, and uh, if you're working on a different intake, just by going up one size, you may only gain 20 CFM, okay? So the, what, what was achieved with this may not apply across the board, but still, this is the number one area that you do need to work. And also, be aware of, make sure that when you uh, go into this guide, that you match this port up to whatever your cylinder head is because just because you expand this, if you make this larger and your cylinder head is at like a 200 cc, you haven't achieved anything because it's going to hit the edge of the wall there and all that extra work is all for nothing. So keep that in mind. Okay, that is the end of this section and uh, the next one we're going to move to is step number two where you can get your next greatest gain.